This video is sponsored by Thermoking, manufacturers of transport temperature control solutions. Visit thermoking.com for more information. Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment, and this is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. Here's an update from the road. After a slow January, travel picked up for the FE team in February with two major events. The first was a test drive of Detroit's new DD8 7.7 liter engine in sunny Palm Beach, Florida. The DD8 offers the following power ratings and impressive oil drain intervals. That's not to say that you should wait to do your first oil change at 45,000 miles. The extended drain intervals mean that you have more flexibility in your maintenance scheduling. One of the DD8's most interesting capabilities is its variable cam phasing. A new engine innovation Detroit has introduced to address after-treatment system headaches that plague vocational fleets. In applications in which long idle time allows the exhaust to cool down to the point where it's not burning particulate matter off the DPF, the truck would need to force a regen to get it rolling again. The goal of variable cam phasing is to force the engine heat into the exhaust system more quickly to keep the after-treatment system temperature up and reduce forced regen situations. After the test drive, I hopped onto a plane and headed across the country to Scottsdale, Arizona, where Peterbilt unveiled its Ultraloft model 579 cab configurations. This thing is massive. One configuration sports a spacious single bed, while the other offers a roomy double bunk setup. Both 80-inch integral sleepers offer massive amounts of headroom, an impressive array of storage, large microwave, fridge, a 42-inch wardrobe, and enough room to fit a 32-inch flat-screen TV. Both lower bunks measure in at 85 inches long and 42 inches wide, while the double bunk configuration adds a 82 inch long and 36 inch wide upper bunk. While that will make drivers happy, the Ultraloft also boasts up to a 2% fuel economy improvement and is 100 pounds lighter when compared to the Model 579 discrete sleeper. For more in-depth truck equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.